Howdy, and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run, where we are beating the game with only two soldiers per mission, on the highest difficulty, of course. I expect nothing short of another great mission. It's time to hack an advent train, and who could be more suitable to do so than Ranman and Zirkim? A tech team which is known for utmost and utter annihilation. They are going to go in and the grenades will just plaster the entire floor. I expect nothing will stand when they are done. Uh, I was pretty happy with the last mission that they did. And given that uh, the combination of both of them is super fast paced and very aggressive, it's just an awful lot of fun to play it. So, let's see how they are doing in this uh, particular mission. The only downside is they would need to go like all the way up to the actual hack. But I suppose that's okay, because realistically speaking, you seldomly can sneak to it. So might as well go all the way there. We do have run and gun. And uh, Zirkim has a grappling hook, so we'll get there eventually. Oh, look at that. We're not even alone. We are being joined by Martina Kohler. Resistance. Welcome on board, Martina. This is going to be a mission without any high ground. Interesting. Uh, nothing really. I'll save the gra grappling hook. Maybe we'll find a good position to grapple Closing just a bit later. Zirkin moves in. Something needs to be here. Oh yeah, it's the civilian. Okay. Zirkin moves in first. Understood. Moving out. Safe little double movement. Copy that. I have eyes on the enemy. There's the first enemy pack. Already there. And our rookie is going to join us. Very nice. Saturation fire would barely reach them. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Renman just moves up. Figures out there's another tower. And as for grenades, uh, so close. Wait a second. Like this here. We'll hit two of them. There is no way to hit all three of them though. Two of them is not a bad deal to be honest. But maybe we can even do better. Maybe. Martina here. Wait, before Martina does anything. The pro most problematic one is uh, the is the Andromedon. So hitting it first and hitting it hard would help us a lot. I like the idea of rapid fire. As at least statistically speaking, it's more than likely that more than one shot is hitting it. And if so, there is a high chance of crit. So we're going to start it with that parti uh, particular action. 
Yeah, there we go. Effectively two hits and not even and not only that, we're looking at two like massive hits. Untouchable and Implaceable, which we can use just in a second, but before we do so, let's do what we wanted to do, which is hit those guys. I like the idea of removing their cover. We talked about utmost destruction. No, we're not grappling back, certainly not. If we were to saturation fire... Ooh, so short. Just a couple of fields short. Let's try to hit this guy first. Okay, so obviously we need some sort of a cleanup here. Let's hit a situation fire. You know, there's another pack just behind there. And I really don't mind just standing here for now, to be honest. So let's keep the position. Now that pack is here. And obviously yet another pack is there. Wait a second, someone killed the tower eyes, I think. The Andromedon just jumped through the window and killed the tower. How is that even possible? I thought that I wouldn't be able to break it. Well, never mind, I suppose. So the tower is definitely gone. You know there's another pack here, so we gotta be a bit careful. Confirmed. Rookie moves just a bit to the front. Okay. So that's a hundred percent kill. I like that idea, because we can get untouchable. I'm wondering, like we could go to here, pull the other pack. They would have uh, tactical assessment, so they wouldn't really be able to react much. Um, we could uh, take a chain shot and just kill the Andromedon, which I think is the wisest decision uh the we, sh we shouldn't fall back much um yeah and then take it from there so let's start here it's going to trigger another pack again no surprise also, the tower is not a surprise. That should be enough damage, even without the axe. Really solid damage. Come on, one more hit.
not fully. I give you strength. So this guy, we don't need help here. Might need help with him. I'm just checking how our chances of throwing an axe would look like. The answer is not particularly great. Um, we could go for Reaper, try to kill him, get a reset, and then continue our killing spree. Mm. Do we want to do that? We could go run and gun, reload, kill it, use some placeable to move to here, and then just call it a day. Or even to here and call it a day because the only one that would be able to reach us is the stun launcher. The rest actually doesn't really have a good handle against us. We could use the throwing axe to kill him. We could simply use slash to kill him. Hmm. Let me think about it for a second. I like the idea of being able to reload because him being uh, with an empty gun is not a good position. So that is a no mistake kind of deal. We can no longer use Reaper now, which means we either Use our throwing a uh, well might as well just kill him with the melee attack. We're getting a uh, we're getting an uh, an uh, untouchable and implaceable anyways. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so far so good. Okay, and same topics here. That's a little untouchable. And I think we're going to Overwatch instead of taking a shot. Better chances for us to hit anyways. Yep, there we go. Nice little hit. Double movement, interesting. What? That was only a single movement? Incoming! Over here! Blade Master proc super well. I like it. This here should solve any line of uh, side issues uh, which we had beforehand. And with the explosion, it'll probably also kill the purifier who, who currently stands behind the truck. Well, almost. OK, 
Okay. Couple of solid opportunities here for hits. Could also move up, take high ground, and just use death from above as an option. Not the worst idea, I guess. And let's set the stun lance up for a kill. Or just completely kill it, which of course is fine as well. The Andromedon shell needs to die. That gives us untouchable. He still sees one enemy, but that's really not a reason to give him an extra action. I'm just thinking with the advanced teamwork, I think I'm going to save that for now. Um, we certainly could go for Reaper. Yeah, that, that would be a secure kill and and implacable at the same time. Mm. Could then continue to move up. The problem is the tower, which is going to take a single shot. This here is going to explode. How do I want to play that most correctly? So we could uh, go Reaper into killing him, uh, then we could move all the way to here, X to the face, plus another Reaper kill. Yeah, and then from here kind of move to here. where we are out of line of sight of the tower. Hmm. That's probably the best way of playing it, to be honest. One quick slice. Eight to 10, 100% chance, okay. That's going to kill him. Still thinking out loud, I guess by moving here, we probably could kill him. Not sure though. Could move to here and then just take the axe and uh, a normal shotgun shot. That is definitely going to kill him, which means we're only having to worry about the mutant and we do have untouchable. I think that's how we're going to play okay, it. Oh, nice. Good job, man. Alright, we are untouchable, which means the mutant can really not hit anyone other than our rookie. It's another untouchable. I'm under fire.
This might as well be a very solid kill. Of course, one short of actually killing it. But that's not a problem. Because our rookie can't kill it. We still have plenty time left over, so I'm just going to reload and overwatch. For now that's fine. There's only one more pack that we are going to pull eventually. Use a concealment. Good to go. Interestingly, the tower seemed to have disappeared. Okay, that's the first time that the tower is back. Reloading and Renman is still good to go. Tower will take a shot at our rookie, but that's okay. The rookie is in full cover. I don't mind that. Oh, Tower takes no shot because Tower doesn't understand that this neutral unit, which it really doesn't understand, belongs to us. Cool. Like it. Three turns. Yeah, I'm not going to waste chain shot on the tower. Just a solid hit. And the rookie is going to finish it. Target neutralized. Good. Renman will get to start the hack next turn. Okay, well, that changed the situation quite a bit, didn't it? If you say so, they're on to me. Objective here. Hmm. Curious question. If I were to use run and gun and hack, then I could still take a shot, couldn't I? I think that's the case. So... Run and gun. Hack the workstation. Just so that we're clear and that the mission is uh, going to be a success. Like a boss. Avenger uh, time reduced by 50% for four weeks is a really, really good result. Will give us plenty of options on the strategic layer. Shooting the ugly sectoid face will give us even more options on the strategy layer. Moving up here for a nice little blade storm because we are untouchable is a really, really, really good option. Unfortunately, this here doesn't give cover. That's the only thing that I regret. Go 
So grappling up here. Hmm. We could dual strike. And we do have a frostbite. Alright. Time to use all of our nice little abilities, advanced teamwork. So, moving to here... Moving to position. Yeah, let's try to hit the sectoid. Yay, good job. Anyway, so... We could frostbite it. I think I'm going to do it. Frostbite makes it also, if I'm not mistaken, it makes it a bit easier to hit. Yeah, I was right. Which is a big thing. Because unfortunately, it is just extremely hard to hit. Anyways. Little hit, armor shredded. Ooh, two solid hits, really nice. Okay, the reinforcements are here, finally. They found us. Hooray. Blade Storm, come on. Nice. Good job. Okay, so if we were to move to here, on that'll give us a really solid chance of hitting this guy here. Nice little hit. Good job. We have no more uh, advanced teamwork, which means we either move and then take shots, which I think we could do. This here should be at least half cover. Confirmed. It's death from above. And nice little untouchable. to go in with the reaper because if I'm slashing this guy it'll explode and it will deal damage can't get both of them into the same saturation fire unfortunately So 
So I guess what we are going to do is we're going to reload here. And let's kill this guy. Ah, that is really bad. I wanted to kill him to get untouchable. Now Zirkin has untouchable, but Renman doesn't. That's a bad spot to, to be in. Luckily he chooses the right target to take a shot at and he will the purifier will go for our rookie which is fine wait a second if we were to slash this guy that'll be eight to ten okay 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 We don't have any cover anyways, might as well approach him heads on. Uh, heads on. Not good. Moving to here. That would be a pretty solid hit. And that's a definite kill. If we kill him with the first shot, we will get death from above. If we fail with the first uh, to kill him with the first shot, we will just kill him and get our um, implacable. So we are untouchable and implaceable, might as well also move up. And we're hunkering down to, to get rid of the fire. Nice little untouchable. To the corner. Nice little 100% shot. Good shredding. Well done. <laughs> Martina takes it like a boss. She's just standing next to it, uh, next to him, in the up, uh, in the explosion. Yep. Unfortunately, you can't get the uh, soldiers. Martina would have been a badass. And a pretty incinerated badass, to be, uh, to be precise. Like, she was on fire for two rounds now. So yeah, did I promise um, enough? I told you it's going to be total annihilation, uh, annihilation and at the end it was exactly that. Nothing was standing and we just burn everything down super strong team i really like how much like momentum exists it's a very um, a very cool down but also a very like aggression based team i'm impressed commander and i i i just realized both of them together have 300 kills which is incredible Considering the nice little engineer counter to you, Commander. You have still managed to exceed my expectations. And yeah, Excellent I mean, we have three available engineers, and there's really nothing that they could do.
Good, we got improved scanning times. Supplies? Not now, thank you. Although we could use some supplies, to be honest. But we also could use the loot. Or anything else. We were just building a radio relay, which I think we should finish first, and then we can do the rest. Eastern United States. Tracer rounds, okay. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Soon Look enough, at that. Will be trying to hide from us. If we want to take out the chosen once and for all, we should move to strike their stronghold. The resistance has found our access point. We just have to make use of it. Good. We still have one more day of lightly wounded hog bite. And we're going to wait because we need the plus seven dodge on him. Wild child here gets salvo. Dodge. 39 and that is without his uh, 25 from uh, full focus so we're getting there with uh, seven extra dodge we're already at 46 uh, then uh, which would mean we are nearing the 80 percent mark 70 percent mark um, when he is uh, at full focus Right, was uh, that hog bite? Memory. Our ring facility is currently idle. If we there we have go. the soldiers to spare, we should deploy them on a covert action with the resistance. Yes, we're doing that. Thank you for pointing it out. We are deploying hog bite here to get seven more dodge, reduce the avatar pro uh, project. And we don't want any capture. Soldier wounded high again. Ah. Yeah, good enough. I mean, dodge is such a valuable set in this particular run. I definitely want to continue training it. doing whatever it takes to slow us okay down. perfect light armor job, plus one hit point great it is just as I had hoped command we don't need a facility lead matter of fact we do not need any of uh, those however as we do the autopsies there could be other breakthrough researches I'm never going to... which will for instance give us higher weapon damage and more weapon slots so weapon modification slots. Aliens find a mole within the resistance, reducing the retaliation counter by two weeks. That is not good. <laughs> Yet another nice little retaliation mission. These sneaky little bastards. All right, we're going to combat it and we're going to win it. Not only combat it, Operation Witch Wheel, we are going to win it. Um, thank you for watching. I enjoyed it. I hope you did so as well. And uh, see you in the really uh, in the next mission, Operation Witch Wheel. Please don't forget to give it a like uh, and subscribe um, because that will keep helping the channel grow. Thanks a lot, and have a nice day. Bye bye.